So let's talk about the context lifespan in dialogue flow. So the lifespan is a number you see to the left of the context name in the output context text box. That's text box, sorry. So here in the example I showed before, you can see that I have this intent. It's called get atomic number with context. And I have this output context called element set. And here you can see that there is a number inside this circle. In fact, it's a, it's editable right there. And if I want, I can change it to some other number, like say phi. And I'm just going to put it back to the number that what it was before. So what is the meaning of that number? The context lifespan is something that will get, I'm sorry, that's decremented per turn. And what is a turn? A turn is a pair of messages. That is the user sends a request and then the chatbot sends a response and that is a single turn. And when that turn happens, the lifespan of the context is decremented by one. Now you can notice here that since I set this context to be just one, after this turn is done, you will, so hmm, this is interesting. When this turn is complete, that is when the context has been set, which means the turn after that is when the element set context lifespan becomes zero. And when a context lifespan becomes zero, that's when it is not active anymore. You might remember that I mentioned in the video about the context that I said, if there are multiple input contexts and if one of them is not active, then that, that intent will not get triggered. That is what I mean by active. That is, a context might have been set before, but if its lifespan keeps decrementing and it goes all the way down to zero, at that point, that context is not active anymore. So that's what we mean by the context lifespan. Now, in theory, you can set the context to be very large, even some number as high as 1000, I think if you want the context to be active throughout the session. And I guess there are some use cases where that does make sense, but I don't recommend it. I'm just doing a lot of typos today. And I think it's also unpredictable. I have an article about this on my website and you can go and check it out. It's called the optimal lifespan of a context. And I think that using a context of one makes your chatbot a lot easier to reason about, but that's an advanced topic and I don't want to go into that for now, but this was an overview of what the context lifespan is.